My name is Jill Nicholas and I'm an artist and the purpose of this video is to record uh, the first painting that I did after cataract surgery. I've only had one eye done, I've still got to have the other one done which will be in a few weeks. Um, I did have a general anaesthetic so the first piece to camera is actually quite funny. I was so wobbly that day, I didn't realise until afterwards and I'd look back at it just how wobbly I was. Hi, it's three days since cataract operation on this eye. Really pleased with how well it's going and I can't wait to start painting again. Yes, it's four days later. I didn't stay in the same jumper for four days. So everything's set up in the cellar downstairs where my studio is I'm ready to do my first painting after the operation I'm really pleased with um, the new lens the new artificial lens now that the cloudy cataract lens has been taken out um, the only thing is I can't get my head round actually starting the painting um, it's almost like this is going to be the first painting after um, my operation. I can only do one first painting after the operation. I was supposed to have the operation 12 months ago. I was supposed to have it May, April, May time 2020. And then obviously that wasn't going to happen. So... It was put off till April 30th, 2021 for just because of circumstances. But towards the end, my left eye was completely useless. I couldn't see out of it anymore. Colours, the first thing I noticed was the, co the colour difference was crazy. Um, the, uh, I s appreciate blue skies so much now. Um, just out of the skylight above me here the blues are just amazing I can sit here and watch the clouds go by so things like that are, uh, are lovely really good um, all I want to do now is actually get back into painting so here we go i'm ready um i finally got around to doing my first painting and what i've decided to do is to actually do a painting of an eye now i did a painting of an eye before the operation and um, i've got uh, a picture of it which you should be able to see now This one, because of what's happened, I'm going to, it's going to be a happy eye. It's going to be one, well, I'm going to try and capture some happiness within the eye, within the makeup, um, to show the other side, to show the coming through the other side. So I've got everything set up. Uh, I have canvas here, the things that I need bowl i much prefer mixing in a bowl it is quite clean because i tend to spill things everywhere then we have paints um one two three four five six colors cadmium yellow titanium white have i got the right one there <laughs> got all burnt sienna no oh, that's fine that's fine um, yeah, crimson red, not a scarlet red, a nice pinky red. I am having to check because colours actually look so different. Obviously, raw umber and the ultramarine blue. Um, and I've also used this, the gloss medium, and I like doing glazes in between layers. Um, lots of paint brushes. I'm not going to run out of paint brushes. 
kitchen roll and water. That's a water. So, uh, and they're the only colours I use. I've taken a reference picture of my own eye to use as this. Um, and what I want, I, try, I, I, I did actually use my left eye because that's the eye. So I thought it was more significant to use my own operated on eye. Still need these for the little bits. This is the picture I'm going to use. Um, it's it's got the smiley lines around the eye, the angles of where the muscles come up and things like that. That's what I want to capture. So, um, it's I, I, I'm also going to pay attention to the fact that there's light coming straight at the face from that sort of side okay right time to get the paints titanium white cadmium yellow crimson raw umber ultramarine i didn't put the burnt sienna out I actually thought that was red, that's where the new eyes coming in, but yeah, I'm okay with that now. Let's see how it goes. Starting with uh, a nice big brush and raw humber. I'm going to start by just laying out where I want things to go. So, this feels so strange. So this is the painting pretty much planned out. So I'm just making sure I've got all the tone areas. Um, then I'm going to start putting a few more beautiful colours in. this eye to look this way coming out that way not straight at me
<laughs> oh my brush strokes doing that, it's really weird. So, um, I'm just going to wait for this to dry for a second and then I'm going to do the first glaze over the top, which is this gloss medium mixed with, usually use the raw umber just to sit everything down on, on the canvas. And then I'm just going to cover the whole thing The makeup that I'm going to be using on this eye I'm, I'm bearing it in mind but I'm not painting it right from the word go it's almost going to be painted on the skin afterwards. I am going to keep it when I'm doing the, the areas around here where it's, the paint's def this base paint is definitely going to be um, seen and up here. But other than that, A lot of it will be put on like paint, base paint is at the end. Ooh, that was close. So there's the glazing done. Give me a lovely surface to start doing the next layer once well, that's dry. So I'll leave that to dry for. 10 15 minutes and these glazes I build them up and you get lovely depth to the colour back in a bit right okay so the glaze is dry I can um, get ready for doing the next layer. So what I'm going to be looking at now is building up the layers of paint and actually getting each facet of the face to start looking more like skin. Um, and actually look, have some substance behind it. So the reference photograph is getting less and less re relevant now. Gave me a good start and it will be good to reference back the structure of the eye bits around here later. But now I'm going with the actual Um, hi. So this is where we're up to with painting so far. I'm not going to try and work too much on those brush strokes. I like texture in there. I don't want it to be just all completely eradicated. I want to see how the painting is built. shouldn't play too much. I can actually see more brush strokes than I used to be able to see at this distance. That's without glasses as well. That's crazy. Um, so yeah, let that dry now and then Go back in and do the detail on the eye. So this is all nice and dry now. 
I did. Um, glaze over the top of it as well just to get all the layers together. Uh, I'll work back into this again to get more depth in there and see how I get on.
there for now. So there we go, I've done the first painting. Um, I'm definitely going to do more of these videos. Uh, what I want to do is I want to travel around to places that I want to record and I'll do a little piece of painting there, maybe do a bit more of it in the studio um, and record it and do these little videos and share them. I really, really enjoy doing this. Um, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.